Hey guys, it's Music Blues here, and welcome welcome to our, our first live stream of Fleet I announced last night. So today, today we're going to be taking a look at what's on my Nintendo Switch. And uh, before we get started on what games I have, I should talk about what accessories I have for the Switch. So obviously, come built in with the Joy-Cons, which are Sonic Forces games from the bonus edition I got for Sonic Forces. Also, I have my uh, Joy-Con clip with uh, bonus edition also with Sonic Forces. And Ethan's Pro Control and uh, Pro Control that Ethan N gave me. Since he has to do Splatoon 2 Pro Controller, or so, yeah. Alright, now let's talk about the games I have on this thing, shall we? So, first up, Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, I have played a little bit of the game. Game, like I said last night, and I gotta tell you, the gameplay is awesome, absolutely amazing. The story is great too. The yeah, my only problem is it's a some of the levels are a little too hard <laughs> for my skill level, at least. at least. At least that's what it looks like, so. I'll let you guys know, know what I think once I actually managed to beat this game, but. I should be in class and show that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Had game gameplay going in the background. Uh, but yeah, basically, it's the uh, Mario Tennis Aces not bad so far. Next up, up Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You guys already know my opinion if you see my Switch video, but uh, uh, I did buy it myself. I did say I'm gonna get it for Ethan, and when I get a chance, I will. Uh, but um, so far, my impressions of this is. Still pretty solid. I really do think this is one of the best strategies I've ever played, if I'm being honest. Um, once I do get a chance, once I'm done with all this, I will probably jump into the Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. I did get the season pass, so I'm really going to play that a little bit more when I get a chance. But, yeah. Oh, and as you can see, I'm also wearing my Nintendo Switch hat. I got the, uh, the Switch event, so, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, next... Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oops. There we go. You probably already know what I think of Puyo Puyo Tetris, but just in case you don't, don't. It really is a great puzzle game. Uh, I haven't played too much of the story though. Um, but I can tell you my favorite mode in the game is the Big Bang mode. That's one of my favorite modes to play in the game. Game I. I actually played it a lot on a Japanese version, and actually, I actually do own a Japanese version. Let's see if I can find it here. That's funny, I can't find it. Oh well, but yes, I do have the Japanese version also for your for your Tetris because I got it in Japanese when it was released over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually that that uh, I was actually that desperate to play this puzzle game, game because the devil came out in Japan and I was like, okay, I really need to get this game, so I got it in Japan and then when it came over here, here I got it in English. Uh, so yeah. Obviously, Sonic Media. I don't think I really need to explain Sonic Media anymore, <laughs> but I can tell you if you haven't play, played it or just jumping back into Sonic, definitely a game that you need to get. Get yeah, it's so much fun. But I'm not like I said, I'm not a big fan of classic Sonic, but this is definitely one of my favorite game games next to Sonic One. Next up, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker demo. I actually did play the original Treasure Tracker on Wii U, and I really. And playing this one, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Good, they did a great job playing this to the Switch, a little bit of a price. <coughs> but other than that, though, it really looks good. The demo is also on 3 guys. I should get that too, too, to see what it's like on there. But I. Alright, hang on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, hi, DJ Law. Um, if you. I'll be right back. My mom's asking me for some help, but I will be right back.
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Okay, so as I was talking about, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker really is a great game they ported over from the Wii U. A little overpriced, but other than that, it's actually pretty good. Okay, next up. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. As you guys know, I own this one physically, as you can tell by the cartridge signal. Give me the case, too. Right here. But yeah, uh, I own this one physically, and Hyrule Warriors is also a Wii U port, one of the best, in my opinion, because it also includes the stuff from the Feedy version, which I also own. Um, but yeah, buying this for my good time in the row, it really is a great game, and I, as I said, I was locked, I'm locking food out one on the channel, so be sure to check out, out the first four parts that I posted, and more will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, definitely a good game. If you're into the Warrior series, you should definitely check this installment out. Oh, okay, so Ginger's finally warmed up to the idea of actually working together? Totally. Totally. I can definitely do that. Uh, but only when I actually get a chance to get around out to play in Sea of Thieves or really any game, if I'm being honest, because I still got the direct to finish later on today. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so next up on our list, we have the next four things on here. Mario Kart 8. Deluxe, obviously another Wii U port, but this game is absolutely amazing if you didn't play it on Wii U. The battle mode is much better than this one, and I really do lo love being able to take it on the go, because Mario Kart is one of those games where everybody loves to play, play so definitely would recommend picking this up, and it includes extra characters, DLC characters, you can play as Platoon, the Inklings with Platoon, you can play as Link from Legend of Zelda, and you can play as the Animal Crossing character, so... Really good deal if you haven't played it before. Next, and speaking of Splatoon, next up, Splatoon 2. Um, I actually own the Octo Expansion Pack DLC for this game, and... Whew, okay, this is probably one of the hard, hardest uh, DLC packs I've ever played, and that's coming from me. Um, I will say that it's only for those who are willing to get... Uh, take a challenge. Challenge, and if you're into Doom, this is definitely worth, worth, it, to, worth it to you. It is a different shooter. Shooter, you start to use the gyro patrols, but other than that, it's actually a pretty good, good DLC pack. And the game in general is already good. Good. I would say it's great if it went for some of the problems I have with it. Oh, hi, Mark. I uh, I saw you comment earlier on one of my, uh, my other videos. Uh, videos. Thank you again. And yeah, it, it is probably meant for ex expert uh, Splatoon players. I'm an expert expert Splatoon. I played the first one and the second one. One. So this won't be too big of a problem for me, but I can guarantee you I probably will get frustrated at some point. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next up, Shiny Resistance We Shane Shane demo. I actually was playing. In this earlier, earlier when this uh the demo, before the game got released, uh get game got or probably won't get released, and I was like, oh, this isn't a bad game. It really reminds me of a lot of Exoblade played it away with the combat system and all, um, but it does feel a lot different to Exoblade too. So I really can't describe it. I did also notice that uh Sega has changed the uh, splash screen. Screen. Instead, it just shows the sound that's played in the brand new version that we've seen in the trails recently, Leaf for Sega Games, um, and it just shows the logo like fading in and out. I'm thinking that's a work in progress one, one, and that's probably going to be the logo that we'll see when Team Sonic Racing comes out. Uh, well, on the splash screen, I should say, when Team Sonic Racing comes out. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Ah, next up. Fallout Shelter. I actually haven't played this one. I download it for free just in case I get bored, so yeah. Okay, so step after that though, we have Street Fighter for the Federation Collection, and obviously by the icon you can tell I own this one for free too. Right here. So my opinion on this 
this one is all playing all all the way through with this game. It was amazing, amazing. I really do love love playing playing all the end of uh, uh, Street Fighter One, Two, and Alpha, Alpha as well as Three. And obviously, my opinion on all these these games. Uh, Street Fighter One, I'm gonna and on um, on Street Fighter Two. Obviously, since Cammy, my main that I've been using for Street Fighter, appeared in that one. I really do like it. The original was not bad too. Two using generally was not that hard. The Alpha games I really do love, love and Street Fighter Three have actually really changed my mind, my opinion. It actually really is a great game, even though preferred first strike due to the fact that Chun Li, my editor main, is also in that. You also appeared in that one, so no offense to the originals, original or second impact, but just for third strike. Uh, but oh, all in all, this is not a bad compilation of arcade versions of the Street Fighter game, classic Street Fighter games. So if you're into this, I would definitely pick it up if I were you, especially if you've been wanting to really pick up Alpha or Alpha 2 or Alpha 3. But if you haven't played the Alpha games, they're definitely great, great to play, so definitely check it out. Next up, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. This is, I, I actually, uh, Ethan actually owns this game, so uh, I decided to put it on my, use his cartridge to put Save Data on mine, so that way when I buy it, I can just continue where I left off and I don't have to stop in the beginning, so. This is definitely a great crossover game. I did play the beta of it, of it, and it definitely is great. The online service is actually much better than, no offense, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. <laughs> Uh, but it, it really is a great game, and Ethan has said that this can be very addicting, and he is not wrong. Um, the online is very addicting. I still actually have some gameplays I have yet to post of my online matches. I have... Oh, hi, Joshua! And, yeah, Mark, Mark, I do have a lot of game games so far. Uh, I'm just going over all the games on my Switch. Uh, after this goes... After I'm done with this live stream, you should go back and I'll tell you, and it will tell you everything else. But I just finished up explaining Blaze Blue Class Tag Battle. Okay, so next up, Battle Chases Night War. I think I'm going to look. Oh, you just missed me going over. Um, okay, so I went over my. Oh, yeah, don't worry, DJ Law. I'll get back into Sea of Thieves eventually. But, yeah, I just went over Mario Tennis Aces, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Pre Pre Tetris, Sonic Mania, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Demo, High Warriors, Facebook Cross Tag Battle, Street Fight, Idol Freddy of Anniversary uh, Collection, um, Fall Shelter, Shining Resistance, Platoon 2. And Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I was just about to explain Battle Chasers. I'm going to look into this game. Ethan says it's a little too hard for him. And that's understandable. In fact, we went up to GameStop and we turned it today. He pre-ordered Anthem 2, so I don't blame him. Uh, okay, now the next one is actually a game I got with um, NBA and Playground. Since I own it, own it, I got this one free. It's Sin Fruit. Through Electric Reborn. I actually haven't played this one yet. Yeah, but uh, when I get a chance, I will look into it. To it, it does seem to be a hilariously bad game. Oh, you're going to try to get us some official Go Gamer gear. That would be perfect, DJ Law, if you could. I'll try myself, too, too to get some official gear. Um, okay, so next... Obviously, Super Mario Odyssey. Obviously, I'm gonna be do. I'm doing the last play of that. I apologize for not getting a pot out. Actually, it turns out that I need to get an extra accessory for my um, laptop. Laptop to make my microphone work. So, um, bit of a postpone on that one. I will mention that again in the direct. But uh, yeah, bit postponed. But Super Mario Odyssey definitely a great game. Yeah, Odyssey. Yes, he. <laughs> you forgot to say that. Uh, thank you for reminding me, Joshua. But yeah, Odyssey, definitely a great game. Very short, very easy, but definitely a great game overall because it has such catchy music. If I'm being honest, Jump Up Superstar is probably one of my favorites from last year. So, <laughs> great job, Nintendo. And if you haven't played Balloon World, so addicting. So darn addicting. Now, if only some people can stop keeping <coughs> some images... <coughs> Of a blue wall, <coughs> that'd be <coughs> very good. Uh, anyways, 
Pokemon Quest. Eh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's not that good in my opinion. The music sketchy, don't get me wrong, but not that good of a game. Yeah, hackers need to chill and I see. No kidding. 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 That, uh, uh, that, uh, those people are the reason why Swatno got up, uh, uh, got its online removed because of the hackers. So, don't try to ruin Bloom World, guys. Guys, I'm not going to be happy with you if it gets removed because of that. But yeah, Pokemon Quest, eh, if you're into Minecraft, I guess it's good, but... Okay, next up, Ultra Street Fighter 2, uh, the final challenges. Ugh. This is probably the worst part of Street Fighter 2 I have ever played. Don't get me wrong, the main mode's okay. Okay, but, uh, where the Hodoken? Uh, let's just say Wii Sports is better than it, it motion control wise. I don't like Pokemon in general now. Don't blame me, DJ. Don't blame me. <laughs> uh, I've kind of toned down myself, but it's not. It's still not that bad. It's just you need to get into it a little, a little bit more. It's not bad by any means, but yeah. Uh, but Ultra Street Fighter Two final challenges. You're better off getting the anniversary collection, guys. Just trust me on this. <laughs> uh, okay, so next up. Bayonetta. Uh, I actually, uh, for those who don't know, if you get Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2 physically, you actually get a free code for Bayonetta. Eve is not a big fan of the first game. He prefers the second one, so he gave me the code. Code, which was pretty nice of him, actually. Actually, uh, I have played a little bit of this, and I actually did beat Bayonetta 2 on Switch. He let me have this copy in one whole day. And it wasn't easy either with some of these bosses. I struggled on the Wii U version, so it was pretty good. good but I did play a Oh, don't blame me, DJ Lowe. We all go out of things things one way or the other. But yeah, Bayonetta 2, 2 and 1, they're really good. Good Bayonetta 1. It's a little bit harder than 2, I won't lie, but still definitely a good ga game. If you haven't played this on Wii or Switch, I would highly recommend picking it up because if you buy one, you get the other one half off if you get it digitally. So physically or digitally, you get two games in one. One, so hop on it if I were you. Okay, next up. Ocean Horn. This game is a uh, kind of a Zelda clone, but it's also its own game in a way. Just actually put it over to mo for mobile onto Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Switch. So if you have any of those other systems, you can pick it up there, but definitely a great game. The sequel is coming out on mo mobile soon, soon, so I hope hope it comes over to Switch as well. But it did get bit, it was very well received. It definitely is a great game. Game, if you haven't checked it out, um, it, the combat out in the Yardstar kind of reminds me of a Wind Waker a little bit, but, hey. Okay, next up, Snipper Clips. Obviously, I've said this before, but if you own one to switch, what are you doing? Doing? You should get Snipper Clips instead. It is a great puzzle game. I We played it a couple times on the channel. It's a very odd thinker sometimes, but... Definitely worth every single uh, every single uh, cent of your ca cash. You should definitely play it. And speaking of which, Snipper Clips is also getting a remix for Super Smash Bros. I was listening to the other day. It's for Noisy Notebook. I think that's actually the first level in the game. I'm not sure. I'll have to look again. But definitely a great remix. I cannot wait to hear what Nintendo has for all the other games. I'm hoping Style Savvy... Uh, 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 Style Savvy Stallion Star gets a couple remixes in there too because Style Savvy Trev says it's actually in uh, Smash 4, 4 for remix medley, so yes, hoping, <laughs> but I'm not oh, putting my hopes too high. Uh, okay, so next up, uh, uh Soshiro, the way of this, uh, I mean, Sushi Striker, the way of Soshiro, and I gotta say, this is a fantastic puzzle game. 
Um, I haven't touched, tried to touch controls for this or the PDF version version of it, but I can tell you right now my uh, initial impressions. I really do like it. It actually was uh, very well received. Uh, very well received by one pe person I know on Twitter named Nintendo, and he reviewed for Nintendo uh, Nintendo World Report. Um, and he also helps out with Go Nintendo. And you probably have heard a couple of his reviews on Game Explain. Um, I think he actually just posted one one a little while ago for another game that was recently released for the Switch, but it, he really likes it. I really like it personally, personally too. It definitely is a good puzzle game. I'm going to see if I can try to get Ethan into it, too, but he's not into every ninja style, style game, so... But definitely a good game, game to check out if you are really bored. Next up, ha Happy Birthdays. I haven't really played the demo yet, so I'll get back get back to you on that, but the next one is oh my gosh, this was one of the first music games on the Switch, next to Just Dance 2017, I, I gotta say, I really really love it love it, it's probably one of my favorite music games on the Switch and now you can actually use um, the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller with it, so Thanks for, this, for uh, thanks for this developers for adding that. I really do love the music. My favorite song in this game is actually Colorful Voice, which is actually an original song made for the game. So, really great job, Biz. And this is actually another one of those games that was on mobile but ported over to the Switch. As of now, I haven't heard it coming to Xbox and PlayStation, but who knows? Maybe it will. Oh, but... Definitely a great music game. One of the very first music, uh, first games at this to only use the touchscreen on the Switch. So maybe I'll record some gameplay sometime to show you guys. Uh, next up, Uno demo. Uh, I did try this, as you guys know, before, and you guys said you wanted me to get Mario Labbits instead of this, so I did. But definitely going to be one of my purchases when I can to buy this game because, oh my gosh, it is just so much fun to play Uno. And it's actually a Just Dance deck, a uh, Frosty deck, and a Mario, uh, I mean, a, a Rabbit deck. Not a Mario Rabbit, Rabbit deck. <laughs> Sorry. Got a little carried away there. And that's because this game was actually developed by Ubisoft. In fact, Ubisoft has made quite a few of the popular games. They made a Monopoly version for Switch, which I haven't heard is very well received. Uh, but... Ubisoft's made quite a few games, so I'll definitely have to check, check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't blame you, dude. I need to get the full version of Uno one of these times. times. When it's on sale sale next, I will definitely check it out. Uh, check it out and buy it. Buy it. But hearing that from you, that's great. Oh, man. Now I really can't wait to get it. <laughs> uh, it's on my wish list, too, so I'll definitely look around to it. Okay, so next up. Portal Knights. First impressions. I'm going to have to play this one on Xbox One to really get the full experience, but not good so far. I'll just say that. Next up, Super Beat Sports. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun little game. I've only played the baseball one, but that one's probably my favorite part of the demo. Oh yeah, that's right. Uno was on mobile. I did, I did see that, but oh man, it got shut down. Bummer. I was actually actually thinking about reinstalling it, but I guess not now. Bummer. But hopefully, it will come back to mobile someday. Someday, because it definitely is a good, a good, good game to play, whether it's in card form or or on a gaming device. It definitely is a great game to play. Uh, but Super Beat Sports getting back to this, the baseball game. Oh my gosh, it's probably one like. Favorite games, favorite mini game modes in this game. Game all, oh. and it's on sale too for eleven bucks. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, so if you've been on the edge but wanted to check it out, I would highly recommend uh, diving into it. I want to get it myself, but I don't have enough cash at the moment, unfortunately. I'm just a little bit short, short of it. Of it. I just have. Why does it always have to go on sale on the worst times ever? Darn it. Okay. Next up, Word Search. Search by Pangla? Is that how you say it? This guy, Khan. Okay. Okay, so this game is actually 
it, it's as basic as you can get for what it says. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry about that if I said that before. Uh, DJ Law is a PC, PC main now. Only, only thanks to see fees. Oh, you played this on 3DS? Yeah, actually, this is on 3DS too. Too. Uh, there's also another world search that Nintendo themselves have made, but this one is made by Pinga. This one's also very well received. Uh, when they first came, when this was first announced to come to Switch, I was like, oh, they, I have a time killer now. Now, I haven't really played this much, as I said, I don't really have that much time to go, but when I'm like on vacation or something, or I'm a really, really, really bored, I would definitely get this. Get, uh, I would definitely play this because I definitely will. Back when maybe one on a flight down if we ever go to E3 um, in person, I would have fully played. Okay, so next up, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. I own this on 3DS. Yeah, so the free update update came to me for when it got updated to Treasure Trove. But um, I did buy this again on Switch because, well, well you see me and Ethan play it. You haven't played Shovel Knight, dude? Oh, come on. You need to get, get into this game. It's so much fun. But it's so, so, so much fun. I love this game to death. 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 It's like one of my favorite. Obviously, Strike the Earth, as you've seen me do a mix before on the channel, it is one of my favorite songs in the game. And I really do love it. It's really great, great for an 8-bit game, but the first boss. Oh. <laughs> he is not a piece of cake. It took me a while to get past him, actually. If it will actually, if it weren't for Ethan help helping me get past that one, I don't think I would have be beaten him. So, thanks again, Ethan, and if you watch this later. <laughs> so, yeah, but Shovel Knight, if you have not already play played it, is available on Wii U, PDS, Switch, uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and, and I believe, I think PC. I had to double check. But it is available on all modern day platforms and VDS and Wii U if you own those older ones. But definitely check it out if you haven't already. Okay, next up, Kirby Style Out Allies. Um, I haven't beaten this game yet, but I can tell you right now, I really do like it. Like it, it's somewhere. Uh, it's probably my second favorite in terms of recent Kirby games. To next to Star Allies, they did try label because. Not my cup of tea. Music's great, though, but not my cup of tea. Uh, but definitely Star Allies is a close second for me, me when it comes to Kirby. I didn't really like Triple Deluxe, so this feels a lot better. Better, And Kirby does look great on HD. I won't lie, the flame light's a little jarring to me, but it doesn't bug me as much as other games would. But I, if you haven't... Hey, hey, hey. No, uh, I'm not going to take that whole die against you, dude. Dude, if you don't really like Star Allies, hey, more power to you. You, you, your opinion, not mine. Mine. I, if, and not everybody has to like every game, you know. But definitely, if you're a big Cubby fan, yeah, I would definitely say if you play the FDS versions, this one probably won't be for you. But if you just jump it into Cubby, Cubby and own a Switch, you should definitely pick this one up. Okay, so next up. Super Chariot. Chariot, haven't really played this one. Neither have I played uh, Pixel Mo uh, Junk Monsters 2, but I have heard some good things about these, so I'll definitely check it out. Okay, obviously next, obviously this one's showing up too. Sonic Forces. I don't think I really need to explain my opinion again about Sonic Forces. I definitely like it more. Being able to make my own character in this game is great too, so yeah, Sonic Forces is definitely my great one. Okay. Kitten Squad. I actually haven't played this yet. Yet I got it for free because apparently this one was made by Pet. You know, the whole Pet Abuse Association that has uh, made parody games for Nintendo in the past. As, uh, <laughs> not going to state anything more than that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll definitely let you know, know next time I do one of these uh, live streams or videos what I think of this game. Next up, Shantae uh, Half Genie Hero. I was going to get this on Wii U when I still have my Wii U. I mean, I have it out again now. I probably won't get it. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's your basic adventure game, but kitten. 
Okay, that's a good good description. Now I'll have to still check it out myself, but thank you for the description. <laughs> uh, but Chante Half GD Hero. Man, I just love this game. Game. And the voice actor for this game is absolutely great. Great. She's a great a voice. Uh, does a great job voicing Shante. She's actually voiced Shante uh, for uh, Risky's Revenge, Pilot Curse, and IFGD Hero, so she is a great voice actor, definitely for uh, Shante. I really do, do like her. And the music for this game is great, as well as the gameplay. A little hard to get used to, but hey, I own Pilot's Curse and Risky's Revenge on my media, so this is, isn't, isn't too difficult. Next up, Yakko Lely. Uh, I actually have not played this one too much on Switch, but from what I have played, played it definitely is a great game. I don't get why everybody hates it so much, much but it's fine to me. Me, I it kind of really, really feels like the better band of Zooey, in my opinion. Opinion, but mm, it's not too horrible. Horrible, I've seen worse, that's for sure. Uh, but definitely, if you haven't picked up Yakalele or craving something bad or ish this will probably fix you over for quite some time until we get our next banjo kazooie from there. Oh, which is hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, okay, next up, Rocket League. Obviously, me and Ethan were very excited when this was announced to be coming to Switch at the previous E3 that Nintendo had, and I was like, oh, okay, I really gotta play this game. Game, game, so we both even gave it to. And are you talking about Yakulele or Rocket League? Just so I know, Joshua. Well, it helps helps with the, uh, you know, comments. <laughs> but anyways, Rocket League is definitely uh, it's fun, but it's uh Okay, so to answer your comment first, Joshua, hey, Rocket League isn't for everybody. I don't blame you. It's very hard to get into sometimes, but hey, hey, more power to you. If you're excited, I will be honest, when I first heard of Rocket League, I was like, soccer with cars? That's really weird. But after looking into the gameplay, I was like, okay, okay, I'll get it. And I actually own it on Xbox, too, so. And even owns it on PlayStation as well, Switch, so we both own it on our separate consoles here. <laughs> uh, but this set definitely is a fun but hard game. The music that they do do with Monster Cat is so much good. My favorite person, personally is Love You, uh, that they did for the previous menu theme, theme a while back. And I was like, okay, this is one of my favorite songs. <laughs> uh, so definitely one that you need to check out, guys. Guys, but luckily for Switch, definitely. It does have a couple graphical things uh, I don't like about it, about it if you're playing in the handheld mode, but other than that, it's not that bad. Next up, Pokemon Tournament DX. Obviously, guys, you already know, know that I actually have played Pokemon Tournament on Wii U a couple times, and Ethan's done a walkthrough of it. I have to get the other parts, by the way, out for, out for your walkthrough, but this is definitely one of the Probably one of the uh, great fighting games that I play, played in some time now. And as you've already heard, Ethan had to convince me that Raichu wasn't going to show up. And he didn't. So, I was wrong. I was wrong. But it definitely is a great fighting game. If you want to know my names, I mean, uh, Scizor uh, was this version. And if I was playing the Wii U version, it'd be Pikachu, Charizard, or Lumpy Pikachu. Mainly because Charizard was one of my is one of my favorite starters from Pokemon, and Pikachu obviously you know is my favorite one of my favorite if not my biggest favorite from Pokemon. So yeah, uh, but definitely uh, if you have not played Pokemon Tournament DX, DX, it actually includes all the characters from the arcade version plus two more DLC characters, which is uh, Blastoids and. Um, uh, I know, right? We need a sequel. <laughs> uh, if we don't get a sequel to this game, I'm going to be so sad. Sad, but... Seriously, Bandai Namco, when you're done with Smash or something, you need to make a sequel to Pokemon Tournament, because this game is great. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Pokemon Tournament in a lot, itching to play a little something Pokemon until Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu comes out, or if you're waiting for the next co-op installment in a Pokemon Mania series, this is definitely one to check out. Uh, okay, so next 
on you you can't really tell by the language but this is fantasy star online 2 it was com it was announced in japan that I was coming to switch and with the switch being major b i was being i i was able to play this so i haven't really been able to dive into it actually yet because for some reason it's not letting me but when i actually get a chance to get into this game i will let you guys know, know what i think okay so next up Exalbe chronicles 2 even though he talked his opinion about this game game, but I really do like this game too. Most of the original Zelda play, sorry, it's just kind of short quotes, quotes that turn me, really turn me off, but other than that, that this game is great. It, the one thing me and Ethan don't like is that we need certain skills to move on to the next chapter. That's a big turn off for me, me, not a big deal breaker for me and Ethan, but it it is annoying. I will not lie, like, it is annoying, and that's the reason why Ethan prefers the first one over the second one. One mainly because you don't have to do that in the first one. But, eh, a different opinion. So, hey, if Global Ground 2 is not that bad. I, and one thing we can agree is the main battle theme. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't describe it. I really can't describe it. <laughs> it's just so good. Okay, so next up Dark, uh, Dark Music Witch. Uh, I mean, Dark. Dark Witch Music, episode Rubaminic. Um, I haven't really played this one, one that much. Um, it's a demo of the game, so I haven't really played it. But it, once I do play it a little bit more, I will let you guys know what I think in to total. Uh, but uh, from what I've seen, it isn't that bad. Obviously, Just Dance for 2017. I really need to get the newest version, 2019, this October, so maybe I'll put a free order down for that so I can play it. <laughs> but definitely, Just Dance has a little change since its uh, debut on the Wii, but it definitely is a game that you need to check out if you are into music. music. It is one that always comes to Nintendo, and this installment is, this year's installment is still coming to the Wii, which is a bit of a surprise, and the Wii U, which is even a bigger surprise, but... Hey, it's your guys' game. Not gonna judge. Next up, Bayonetta 2. As I said before, I beat this game in one whole day. Day. And I even have a tweet. I had to go back, back and look at my tweets, but I do have a tweet to prove that I actually beat this game in a day. Day. It was not a piece of cake getting past some of those bosses, but it took me a lot less tries than it did on Wii U, U since I only had the experience. Experience, so definitely a great game to play through again. And once I beat Bayonetta one, I am so ready for Bayonetta three on Switch. I am so ready. So yeah. Next up, arms. You pop. How a whole day? How long did that game? Game take you? Uh, uh, well, I could tell you it probably probably took me. I think I beat it around eleven ish, so it probably took me from the time I got the co copy from Ethan, Ethan, um, from when he picked, dropped it up, uh, from when I got it from him, all the way till eleven, which is I think about nine ish is when I got it, and then I played it. Played it as soon as I had some free time. I played it from noon all the way to 11, 11 p.m., and, which was near midnight night in my time zone. So it wasn't that hard, hard but I can tell you, tell you in between game dinner and all that and choice, this was definitely, definitely fun to play again. But a whole day, woo! I'm surprised it didn't take me two and a half days. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, this definitely is a great game. It's not that hard. Odd. I was playing on easy mode, so that's why I didn't struggle that much. But <laughs> it definitely isn't that hard when you get used to it. Okay, so next up, arms. You, I mean, even though we really need to explain this one again, again, it's not my fighting style. I won't lie, but I do like a couple characters in this game. If this was had a little bit more loan and better controls, me and Ethan will probably be playing this as much as we would Street Fighter or PC Pokemon. Pokemon we're just talking Switch, but yeah. Okay, next up, this was coming. Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Obviously, I own this one physically. Hey. 
as you can see here. And oh man, I just don't can't get enough of this good cover. But it. it's so good. So yeah, Breath of the Wild, I think I don't need to explain that one either. It's Zelda. Zelda, it's probably amazing. The only thing I really don't like about this game is the uh, whole weapon blanking system. That I guess if you're into the wildness and stuff, I guess it guess it wouldn't bug me, but I personally don't like it. <laughs> Uh, other than that, though, the game is great. Great. Thanks. Uh, the only other thing I really don't like about it is no overworld music, which kind of bugs me. Because <laughs> all other Zelda's before it didn't have, uh, had overworld music, but this one doesn't, so. Kind of skimmed on that, Nintendo. Uh, but other than that, it is a very good game. And if you're into open world, this is definitely one I would recommend you checking out. Okay, next. Next up. Fast! I am X! This one was one of the very first indie games to come to the Switch. Uh, I personally have ha had a great time playing this one. When I had to get back into it and beat some of the other tracks, but uh, if you're into FCO, this is definitely one I would highly recommend you buying. buying. And um, actually, speaking of FCO, the announcer for FCO. ZOGX actually voices the vo is actually the announcer for this game. Game, and you can tell 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 it's him because he says the final lap in the game as well. So pretty cool. Um, next up is Mighty Gumburst. First, this one's actually also on 3DS, and personally, personally, I think it's great. And it features Beth from Mighty Number Trash, I mean nine. And uh it's really fun. It's really fun. Fun. I really had to get into it. I really had to dive back into it a little bit more more. I have the demo on here. I haven't had the full game, but I definitely do plan to get it at some point. So I will get back to you on that once I do another one of these live streams or videos. So Okay. Next up Everblade demo. I actually own the full version of Aeroblade on my 3DS, so um, I can tell you my impressions of it so far since I haven't beaten it. It is so much fun. Fun. Uh, the Rewind Blade feature is kind of actually cool. Cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Forza. Forza, that's what brings to mind. Uh, the Rewind feature in Forza, but it definitely is a great game if you're into RPGs and stuff. Very fun. I heard this one has a lot of D, uh, DLC. It, it's an HD, which I really do like. So, yeah. It's a little different than what I'm used to on the 3DS when I play this game. But still a good get, get game by all means. And I really do need to uh, get this on Switch so I can finish it up. And probably beat it on 3DS too, just so. So, I can say I beat it on both. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so next up. NBA Playgrounds Enchanted Edition. This is actually one of the games I haven't really touched touched that much. Much I played it a little bit when it came out, but I haven't touched it even more. It's just because of the controls for the Switch version, at least. Uh... But if you're into the game, game, game and need a basketball fix that isn't NBA 2K, uh, this is definitely going to be one of your games. Ethan actually likes it too, so hey. Uh, I'm hoping the sequel is better, though. Though I do plan to buy the sequel sequel, so good luck, guys. Okay, so the next one I can really talk about is Fumbum Warriors. Obviously, this was, it came out before the definitive edition of High Warriors came out, and I gotta say, this is personally one of my favorite games to play on Switch. Which I beat this with Ethan, and this is much, and its final boss is much easier if you I have not played, played this game all the way through. Through a final boss, I can tell you right now, it's much easier than Hyrule Warriors by a lot. Shot. Shot. In fact, I had a hard time getting back into Hyrule Warriors due to the fact that I <laughs> played too much of this. Uh, but it is really a great game. Game. Uh, some of the some of the maps, though, I won't lie, Adventure Mode is a lot easier than History Mode Otis and Final Warriors. We were trying to unlock Linus. Woo! Stressful stuff. Stressful stuff. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, but but we finally did it, and we were like, oh, finally. So, 
definitely a great game, but only for the hardcore to find my fans. I would highly, I would recommend this. And it does have payoffs and all that. Last is, uh, has too much fate, but other than that, it is a pretty great, a pretty great game. Okay. And that's really all I can talk about on my Switch, Switch that I played. So, um, yeah, I do have a lot of games on Switch. Um, I hope to get more soon soon but um before i log off for now so i can get back to work on the direct to show you my physical collection collection of switch games that i have okay sonic forces the bonus edition poke tournament dx Super Mario Odyssey, yes, see. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary, uh, 30th Anniversary Collection. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Arms. High Warriors Definitive Edition. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which just, by the way, also added Labo support, so you can use the Toy Con, Con Motorcycle with it. Splatoon 2. Mario Tennis Aces. And obviously, I still have Ethan's copy of Mario Rabbids physically, which I will get him. But <laughs> he's in no rush, but I do plan to get, get, get it back since I lost his copy, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do plan to actually show up. Uh, yes, Joshua, I did show off my 3DS collection, but I didn't show you all of my 3DS collection. I still have a couple games I actually just got recently that I haven't showed you. So um, I'm going to show off my 3DS collection next time. And I have a lot more games on that one, on my, on my 3DS system, than I ever do on any other system I own. Oh, and that's coming for me, me, because I own a lot on Xbox One, and I owned a lot on uh, Wii U, but my 3DS is probably the largest gaming collection I own, at least as of this video, uh, video slash live stream, so, yeah, uh, but definitely, um, I will let you guys know when I'm going to be doing that live stream, it will probably be tomorrow, most likely, um, and later on today, it, um, A, even will possibly live stream Dead or Alive, uh, five last round, um, possibly either tomorrow or Thursday, uh, today or Thursday, he will do that. So just a heads up. But I will see you guys later on to uh, later on to this afternoon or tonight for the Music Clues Direct and this Music Clues video game, DJ with Clues Tunes. Signing off for now. See you guys later. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh, DJ. Uh, well, we should definitely stream CFEs, but uh, maybe some better time. So. See you guys.